Praise God. Amen. I said we should stay away. I said we should stay away from those whose words and action can kill our faith. We thank God for two this morning. The, today is Tuesday, July 5, 2022. And the topic is remove faith killers. Remove what? Faith killers. Remove faith killers. The memory verse was taken from Mark 5, 36. Mark 5, 36. It says, as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, be not afraid, only believe. Be not afraid, only believe. So the passage was taken from Mark chapter 5, verse 23 to 43. Mark 5, 23 to 43. It's a very long passage and a very interesting one. The passage comprises of two, two incidences that happened. The two incidents of faith that happened. Number one was uh, the woman with issue of blood for 12 years. The number two was the daughter of Jairus, the dead daughter of Jairus. The woman with the issue of faith for 12 years. Eh? I mean, issue of blood, rather. Sorry. Issue of blood. <laughs> The woman with the issue of blood for 12 years has uh, labored herself, spent so much money for the physicians, the pastors, the prophets, the, 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 the priests. Do a lot of sacrifices, as Tom mentioned, of sin and whatever. For good 12 years, even the doctors, she has taken so many drugs and whatever. Nothing happened until he met the Lord Jesus Christ. And de she developed a faith that, no, with the testimony I've been hearing about this man, I know that what he would have been saying because he must have had a testimony about Jesus Christ before he can have faith. The Bible says, for faith coming by hearing. Amen? Amen? Look at it. So that you know that your faith has to do with what you hear. And that's why the Bible is saying that you should move away from the faith killers. People that are telling you that it is impossible. People that are telling you that your dreams are not achievable. They are faith killers because they will be telling to your hearings. And what you hear has to do with the faith that grows in your heart. Now, the woman, the Bible says, for faith coming by hearing, and by hearing the word of God alone. That's what the Bible says. It says, for faith cometh by hearing, but by hearing the word of God alone. That it is only the word of God that builds your faith. When you are hearing the word of God, when you are reading the word of God, that is when you build your faith. And the Bible says, For we overcome the dragon by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimonies. So when you hear the word of God, when you hear testimonies of the goodness of God, you build faith. Then you overcome the dragons. You overcome the devil. When you hear the word of God. So it is important that you should be careful what you are listening to. You must be careful what you listen to. So if you are listening, if you listen to bad songs, all the worldly songs, then definitely you are killing your faith. All those ones, they are dream killers. They are faith killers. Because they will create fear in you. They will definitely create fear in you. But when you listen to the word of God, the songs from God, the Psalms, for example, when you listen to Suna Yesu, Dagodane, Suna Yesu, Tekotiuna, 
Suna Yesu Nasaranane Suna Yesu Mechaiki The meaning of that song is that the name of Jesus is our inheritance. The name of Jesus is what? He said it's our inheritance. He said it's our faith. It's our everything. It's the holy name. So when you listen to that kind of song, your faith will develop. You say no. You will understand that the Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous son to it and saved. But when you listen to uh, all other songs, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Sasu, Waris, uh, and all, the, all those useless songs, then you, you, you become as useless as them. In the case of this woman, she must have heard about Jesus, testimony of Jesus Christ. And he now she developed a faith that, no, if I see this Jesus and I touch the hem of his garment, I shall be whole. Nobody has done that before. But when she heard about it and he saw so many crowd, he know that Jesus may not have, I mean, he know that she may not have opportunity for Jesus to lay hands upon her. But he now, even I don't even need, I, I, don't, need him, I don't even need him to lay hands upon me. What I need is that, let me just touch the hem of his garment. And she touched the hem of the garment of Jesus Christ, and he, she was healed. The, same, the second man was uh, Jairus' daughter. Jairus' daughter was dead. People came to him and tell him, he told Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said, don't worry, let's go there. The first thing Jesus did was that, he said it is only Peter, John, and who? And James that should follow him. All others said they should not follow him. He removed the who? Faith killers. All of that multitude, the multitude that are following you all around, most of them, they are faith killers. Very few of them are faith builders. And Jesus could identify the faith builders. And he said, Peter, John, James. That shows that you must select your friend. You don't always go with the multitude. If you want to build faith, select your friend. Select the kind of people you move with. You don't just move with anyhow, anyhow people and you, and you build your faith. For example, if you are moving with friends that their trust is in Juju, is in Ogun. They say, ah, O senior, how much I have to ah, Baba can one in Jebu, and we can one in Risha, you can one in Lefe, you can one in Okogun. And that's all they know. Do you think your faith can grow? Your faith cannot grow because that's what they will be telling you every day. And it is what they tell you that will come to your mind. So if you see any little things like this, what will come to your mind is that, ah, what is a poor back and one in India? Then what will come to your mind? So if you don't select good friends that are faith builders, then your faith will collapse. Jesus recognized that and he doesn't want his faith in the Lord to collapse. That's why that is a son of God. He said, No, uh, even if you are a son of God, you don't move with evils, you don't move with Satan. So he said, for um, Peter, John, and James, follow me. Every other person, please, don't follow. And they went there. And when they got there, he met the people that are crying, shouting, wailers, and whatever. He told them that uh, this, this guy is not dead. He has just left. They laugh. One feel in the people. One feel she, yeah, yeah. We are a little can You know, those kind of things, they can kill your faith if you are not careful. And Jesus said, no, no problem. He said, all of them should go out. He noticed that they are all faith killers. He sent them out. He not only took the, ma the mother and the father of the boy with, I mean, of the girl with those that, that follow him. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. So select your friends. Be careful. 
and the Lord Almighty God will follow.